Hello YouTube! Welcome back to the Every Closet. My name is Stephanie and along with my lovely partner Ethan, we are two full-time resellers of used clothes we sell on Poshmark and eBay. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a consignment client haul. Not a consignment store haul, a consignment client haul. Call. So as you know, we have a few consignment clients. I would say we have two or three that are like the main pillars of our consignment business. And we have a few other ones as well that give us slightly fewer items, but are still awesome for doing that. Probably our most consistent consignment client. She gives us a new batch of clothes and things to sell for her every four to six months or so, and has been doing that for the last three years. So we're very grateful for her. And I'm going to show you just everything she gave us in this most recent drop. I'm gonna get started because I think there's a lot. It's one garbage bag of clothes, one reusable bag of shoes, and then there's jewelry. So let's get started. First, I just wanna I just want to show you my shirt. Look, it's a My Little Pony Mosquito shirt. I'm obviously not keeping it. We got this the other day at a consignment store. I'm going to sell it, but I just love it so much that I wanted to just put it on for this one video. Is there anything on the back? Nope, it's just white on the back. But yeah, I just wanted to put it on for this one video because I think it's the cutest, most hilarious thing ever. And then it will be up in our Poshmark closet. So if you like it too, go buy it. Hopefully whenever you see this, this will be listed. Let's start just grabbing clothes right off the top. This is purple and it is new with tags. Guess by Marciano and it's a shirt. The tag says it was $128. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, that's so cute. I obviously love the color and it's a size small. That's all I really have to say about this item. I don't know. Next is this shirt, which is also super cute. This is Marciano. It doesn't say Guess by Marciano, but I'm guessing it was bought at Guess. This is a shirt that was $158 Canadian retail, which the tag is still on it as well. Oh, this is cute. It's a size small. I feel like I know a lot of people who would like this style and the like kind of ombre effect of it. It's mostly sheer as well. Very pretty. All right, let's do a running tally of what we think we can sell these things for. So I know that the tag prices on those are huge, but Guess by Marciano or Guess in general doesn't do that well resale. I'm going to be pessimistic for all of these things and say, let's say we sell those new tag shirts for $40. I'm gonna list them at like 65. Thus, they may sell around 40. So let's say each of those, maybe we sell those for $80 total. What do we have here? It's Guess. She loves Guess. This is interesting. It's like a lacy see-through, except for the pockets cover, you know, the important bits. And it's very silky and it's got shoulder pads. Dang. All right. This is not new with tags. And this is by Guess. Honestly, Guess can really vary for us. This could sell as high as $40, but my guess is it will sell more around $20, $25. Let's call it $20, which is fair. I'm sure this was also like a hundred bucks, but the people, they don't love guests as much as they should. Okay. Another new tags, Marciano. Tis black. Ah, tis layered. Okay, I kind of get it. Okay. This is a guest by Marciano shirt again. And again, it's new with tags. Although the price of this one was $88. It's like kind of layered with this sheer overlay. And then otherwise it's a black tank top. It's new with tags, but it does have this one tiny little white mark here. But I actually think that'll come off really, really easily. So I'm not actually worried that it has like a stain. I think it just like touched something once and it's not gonna leave a mark. It's new with tags. Let's assume we can sell that for about $30. I love these assumptions. It's gonna work out nice. Ooh, Armani exchange. Look how cute. Oh, it's completely see-through in the back. Okay, so this is like a cardigan with a see-through pleated back. It's pretty long too and it's got a waist tie. It's by Armani exchange and it's navy blue and it doesn't seem to have flaws and it's a size zero. No, not zero. Small. That's the word. Gosh, what do I think I can sell this for? I have no idea. This could, this could go anywhere. I'm going to say like $30 again. Um, trying to be, trying to be a little bit lower than average. I think I, I'm going to list this around 50, but we're going to see what happens. This is a Babaton shirt. It's got this cute twist in the neckline. Um, I found these necklines so freaking flattering and it's black and it's a size small. I love it. I don't know what we can sell it for, but I'm going to go ahead and count on at least $25. Like, come on. In fact, I think 30 is probably a fair bet, but oh well. Ooh. If you don't know, I've actually, 
I had someone who didn't know the other day. So Babaton is by Aritzia, as is this next shirt, which is Wilfred. Those are like kind of the two, I think of them as the like main pillars of Aritzia. So that's the main two Aritzia brand, sub-brands. And then there are a few others like Community, Sunday Best, TNA, you get it. Um, this is a Wilfred button front black shirt. Oh, this looks so comfy. It says it's extra small, but it's Aritzia. So naturally this would literally fit me. Aritzia. Clearly it's supposed to be oversized is what that means. So yeah, well, I don't know what we can get for this. I'll have to look up comps for this shirt exactly. I think it's fair to say we could get 25 again. Hopefully that's Whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. This is another black shirt. It's by Babaton. It's got these like white theme details. It's very drapey and nice. And again, it is an extra small, but which is supposed to be oversized. I'm just going to have to assume $25 for all the Aritzia shirts, unless they become sweaters, because I do think that's like the lowest I'd accept for any of these. Here we have a We The Free Waffle Knit Off The Shoulder shirt is in a size small. It's kind of hard to see off the shoulder and then hang it on a hanger, but you can see it. Super cute, super like drop shoulder, slouchy sleeves. Love it, love it. Ooh, what can I get for this? I don't know. I'm gonna go with 25 again. It'll be easier to count the totals for one thing. And for another thing, free people can be like, it can be like, ooh, $80. Or it can be like, oh, 17. So. I don't expect it to be 17 and I'm not accepting 17 on my free people crap, but I would accept 25 probably. I shouldn't be saying this. I might not. So send higher offers. Okay, another Wilfred shirt. So from Aritzia, it's a size small. It's got like a boat neck and it's got tie sleeves all down the side. So that's kind of cute detail and We'll see. I'm gonna count it as 25 again. Okay, we got a little shrug by Guess. It's black and kind of looks like blazery in the front, and then it's got a fully sheer crochet back, which is super cute. It is a size small, and it's not new with text, so I do believe I'll be getting somewhere around. I mean, my guess would be my actual guess would be 25 to 30, but I'm gonna count this as 20 because you just can't count on that for used guess items. Sadly, sadly, you can't count on much higher. But I do think that because it's a shrug, someone is going to a wedding this summer and they're like, oh, I need to cover my shoulders for whatever reason. Or like, oh, I'm going to be cold. Shrugs. Here we have Guess by Marciano. Tis new attack. Work on this hanger. Oh, put your shoulders back together. Okay. It has cold shoulder detailing. We're not, we're not thrilled about it, <laughs> but it has a size small. It's a gorgeous teal and it's new with tags. Let's see what the tag says. $78. I'm just saying people. So let's see. I, I should be able to get at least 30 for it. Math is weird. This is a page blazer. Page is often known for their jeans. Um, I don't really pick up their jeans. They don't do super well. I have never been faced with a page blazer. I think their clothes, like their non-jean clothes, tend to do a bit better. But I'd straight up have to look up comps for this and I'm not doing that or we'll be here for hours. So I'm going to assume I shouldn't count this as a nice $30 as well. It's a size small. It's in really amazing condition as all her stuff always is. And I love it. It's just called like a subtle, subtle stripe. I think this is like a really nice everyday blazer for anyone who wears blazers in there every day. Now this is a very uncertain item. Like I would not source this, but because it's from consignment client, awesome. Of course we're going to sell it. And it's pretty cute. It's like a crochet detail cardigan vest thing. The brand says press. I'm guessing that's a boutique brand. Those don't do amazingly well. I've not known of it otherwise. And it's in a size medium. So I don't know how much I can count this for. Like I'm sure I'll probably sell it for around 20, but all I can count on from this guy is like 10. So I've got to say 10. These are Wilfred pants. They're in a navy blue. They're cropped. They've got a tie waist and like one of these latch zip hem things. Oh no, that's button. Button down hem. Um, it's got one of the newer Aritzia Wilfred tags. Gosh, can you see that? I hope you can. It's in a size four. It's got pockets. I don't know off the top of my head. I wish I was that cool. I'm not what style of pant this is, but it does look fairly modern. Aritzia pants have been going like... They used to go for like 80, which was lovely. And now they're going for around maybe like 60, 50, 40 sometimes. So I'm going to count on these as a good 40 bucks, but hopefully they're actually a good 60 bucks. Hello. Hello. 
Oh, it's a duster. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Okay, here we got like a duster. It's not even really a cardigan. It's like one of those really lightweight jackets. You know what I'm saying? Kind of forget if there's a name for it, but it's long line. It's awesome. It's freaking awesome. It's Babaton, which makes it awesome. I'm sure this was like 180 bucks. It's in a size small. It has pockets. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm so loving this. I don't know what we can get for this bad boy. I don't want to overcount it. So I'm going to say... I want to count this as 50 bucks. Ah, 40 bucks? Like, I know I can get 40. I'm not even worried about it. And I think I'll get more than 50, but like, what if I don't? And then I'm lying. I think, okay, screw it. Let's count this as I think it'll go for at least 50 bucks. There's me betting on things. We are not done. Not even close. Okay, this is a guest camisole. It's lace. It's super cute. Camisoles do pretty well, um, considering how small they are and like insubstantial. It's a size medium. And I do believe I should be able to sell this for about 20 bucks. So that's great, especially for how small and easy to ship it is and easy to list and all of that kind of stuff. Oh, this is bright. Yeah, to be honest with you. Oh, it's new attacks. This is not her style. <laughs> So I'm not overly, overly surprised this is new at text. Um, aha. Oh, it's a skirt. Oh, it is gorgeous. This is a very bright tropical floral print light teal aquamarine shade maxi skirt by Guess by Marciano. It is new at text. And it says it was 178 bucks. Dang. You would think then that I should, and I should with certain brands, be able to sell this for over 100 But I know it won't. I just know it won't. I'm going to list it around there. But I'm guessing this should be worth at least 60 bucks, which is cool. Look how cute. It's got the ruffles. I love it. All right. More Guess by Marciano. This is a medium. Oh, look. It's like a tunic. It's like a such a flowy, cute tunic. Oh, I love this. What a gorgeous piece. Not for Stephanie. Okay. Um, what do we want to count on for this? I mean, I'm, I'm going to try and sell it for more than 30, but let's count on it as a good 30 bucks that we can sell this for, I do believe. I do so believe. Oh, I don't know what this is, but I already know I love it. Oh, it's a dress. Tristan. Oh, I don't think I know Tristan. Like I've, I've seen it before, but I've never bought it or looked into it or anything. It might be a boutique brand. Regardless, this is so cute. It's size 10. Wow, must fit small. Okay, anyway. This gorgeous maxi dress got Getty strap, surplus neckline, says it's a size 10. Some of this is velvet, which is really cute in the print here. Gosh, our lighting's not the best for this. Yeah, and it's awesome. I have no idea what this is worth. I don't know what Tristan goes for. I'm guessing I'm just going to have to like base what I think this can sell for on style. So let's count this as a good 40 bucks because especially it's helped by the size 10 thing and by this stretchy waistline here. Oh, Oh my god, thank you. Just a blessing. Just a blessing of a person to have been introduced to. Oh, this is a new with tags All Saints sweater. It looks like something's going on here. Oh no, not really. This came off really quick. Okay. Uh we got a new with tags All Saints sweater. It says All Saints. Can you see that? It's like monochrome. Kind of hard to see. Buy small and the tag says it's the Pippa embroidered sweater and it cost 175 Canadian dollars. Shut up. <laughs> um, new it tags all saints. I know it's a sweater. Ah, I don't know. I feel like I want to count this as a hundred bucks, but let's be conservative here and I'm gonna count this as 80 because it's new it tags. Oh my god, it's so soft. This is great. I love this. Thank you, consignment client. You're just the best. I am running out of hanging space and there's like half the freaking bag left. These are new with tags. Marciano, guess by Marciano. Dress pants in a size six. They've got a side zip close. They're pretty structured. Honestly, dress pants, especially like plain black dress pants and not from Maurizia, are kind of my nemesis. So this could go for anything. Like we've had purple label Wow Florin dress pants before. And they sat forever and then sold for so little. So, you like, I have no idea what these are going to go for. They're 148 bucks. Okay. So they could go for like 80, but there's no way I'm counting on that. I, I think I have to count these as like 20 bucks, even though that's so stupid. But the resale value of certain things just aren't there. And black dress pants just aren't there. They are for some brands and some like certain things but not ne necessarily certainly not necessarily guess or guess by marciano so we're gonna hope for the best plan for the worst let's count these as 20 bucks oh -ho! Ho -ho? 
you know, you have to picture this as an off the shoulder thing because like I can't hang it otherwise, but how cute. So obviously this goes with that skirt. What did I say this skirt would have been worth like by itself, 60 bucks? And this shirt by itself is 120 retail, still has the tag on it. Gosh, what do I think I can get for it as a set? Well, hopefully at least 100 bucks, right? Like, come on people, but maybe not. So let's count on the whole thing together as 80, sadly. But we are obviously going to sell this as a new tag set. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's kind of like Cohen pants, but they could be a different model. She's given us a lot of Cohen pants before. Um, these are black size four Babaton Aritzia dress pants. They're kind of cropped. They've got an elastic in the back. They've got pockets. I think these might be the Cohen pants, but don't quote me on that. Um, I'm going to count these as, I kind of want to say $35, but let's go 40. Someone will want these and they are black and like Aritzia. Jeans, 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 jeans. Yes, girlfriend denim. Part of me wants to be like, yes, girlfriend, but don't do that. 27. Okay, these are girlfriend jeans. I'm hoping they're the Carolina jeans, which are quite uh, infamously popular, but all of the girlfriend denim jeans can do pretty well. Oh, Carolina, sick. It says right in them. Okay, I think I should be able to get... <sighs> Frick me. We're still holding on to a pair of girlfriend denim jeans, but I'm still going to count these as 50 bucks because the pair I'm holding on to is listed for more than that and has a bunch of lights. These are size 27 girlfriend denim Carolina jeans, the button hem and light wash. And I think that they should get me at least a $50 sale. Okay. Hee <coughs> hee, more Rabaton. Mm. But no more pants hangers. And pants hangers get real tangled. Huh. I think these are definitely the same pants as the last Babatown pants I held up. But these ones are a size 6 and those were a size 4. So whatever ones those turn out to be, be it Cohen or something else, these are some Aritzia pants. What did I count those ones as? Well, those were a size 4 and I think I counted them as 40 bucks. I can't count these for much more than 40 either. I want to say more because they're a size 6, but it doesn't go up quite that linearly. <laughs> with size. So let's call these bad boys another 40 bucks. Love it. Okay. Are these new with tags? Freaking genius. Oh, new with tags. Okay. I'm not going to hang these. Um, New with tags, girlfriend denim, Carolina jeans in black denim, size 28. It doesn't say how much on this tag, but uh, if I recall, like 100 bucks or so, or like 200 probably retail. These are Fantastic! I'm so excited. This is like one of the best things so far, for sure. New with tags, girlfriend denim. Love it. What can I count these as? Oh, frick me. <sighs> Screw it. I've been underestimating. I'm going to sell these for a hundred bucks. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're into the Lulu phase. Yes, these are Wonder Unders or Lines. These are Wonder Unders. So heathered gray Wonder Under leggings. I'm guessing they're in a size six since that's what she usually gets. If you're wondering where to find your size dots, there's this like half, half a, I don't know. There's this pocket on the inside of the hip. That's where the size dots are for wonder unders and for line leggings and whatever else, size six. It has numbers around it that's showing me that this pair was made in 2017. So a bit old, but still a nice solid wonder under. And like, look, literally nothing wrong with these. Like amazing condition since she's had them since 2017. Just flawless. I don't know how she takes such good care of her stuff, but I suppose since she has such nice stuff, better, better to take good care of it. Honestly, a fantastic idea. What can I get for these? Yikes. I don't know. Let's call these but they're 2017. I want to say 45 to 60 bucks. I'm hoping to sell these for around 60, but let's count on them as 40 because I know I can do that. So we like to count on what we know of. Wow, cute, 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 cute. Okay, this is a Wilfred shirt. It's semi-sheer, kind of like translucent. It's got a high mock neck or turtleneck, whatever you want to call it. The size small. Shirts like this from Aritzia that aren't like button-down shirts or sweaters or anything like that, I just have no idea. Like, you don't know until you look it up whether or not people like really want this. But I know I can count it as at least 20 bucks. But can I count it as 35? I hope so. But we're going to count it as 20 bucks because I don't like to overpromise and underdeliver. That's the worst. Ooh, yes. Okay. Not actually optimistic for this piece, but that's okay. We'll still sell it. And obviously, like, it's pretty clear why we'll take anything she gives us whenever, always. <laughs> this is a guest shirt. It's Size small, it's like an open knit long sleeve shirt. There's a little hair on it. There we go. I'm gonna count it as 10 again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
I know this is like an $80 shirt, but this particular open netted style hasn't been in as far as I know super recently. Maybe it's already coming back. Like maybe it's been out for so long it's already come back and I just don't know about it yet. But also it's Guess. And oh, it's got an asymmetrical hem. Look at that. Yeah, that doesn't help either. This would be like cute mermaid costume. That is not what you want in a shirt um, that you don't want to wear as a costume. I still think it's cute and chic. I just, I just, one of my lesser favorite items so far. My jeans, please be what I want. Oh my God, it's even more than what I wanted. <laughs> I want a girlfriend again, but these are a goldie. I don't, okay. I don't know which one's more than which. They're about equal, but I just, uh, I'm very happy with this. So we have some a goldie jeans. Light wash, hanging them up. Okay, what size are you? Probably 27 or 28. So like, why even bother looking? 27, like how cute. They've got a zipper fly. They're pretty high-waisted. They're like kind of boot cut. Oh, these are fantastic. I have no idea what these are worth. I haven't sold a Goldie jeans. It's the last time she gave us a Goldie jeans. <laughs> Although those sold for 70, but those were, gosh, let's count these. I, I should say I'm gonna count them as 50, but screw that. I'm gonna sell these for at least 60 bucks. Yes. We're counting it at 60. Okay, we're almost done the first portion. Okay, another pair of Lululemon Wonder Unders, right? Yes. Um, I just checked the size dot. These were from 2020, which is awesome. They're a size six again. They've got this like, wow, you can't see if I go closer than that. See this like shiny, subtle-ish pattern to them? I love them. They're in awesome condition as per always. And what do I think I can get for these? They're more modern, but they're also like not everyone wants. This, whereas the heathered gray is like, you know, my everyday leggings I'm going to wear. So I think I'm going to count these as about the same as the last ones. But I already forget what I said for the last ones. The 50, right? Like, come on. Someone will give me 50 bucks for these basically new lemon leggings that probably sold for 130. Please. Okay, these are citizens of humanity. They are a rocket crop jean. They're skinny leg style. They're also colored denim, which I consider anything that isn't black, white, blue shades of blue. So they're gray, which I considered colored denim. It's pretty out and they're size 27. So, and they're skinny jeans. So I'm actually not going to count these for very much. Certain citizens of humanity, humanity, citizens of humanity jeans can sell for a nice, good amount. Not all of them. And I would say this has a few things going against it, namely the skinny leg, the gray color, um, it's just they're a bit dated. I'm gonna count these as $20, but they may go as high as 50. I don't see them going over that. I really don't. Okay, we got another pair of designer jeans that probably retailed for over 200 bucks. <laughs> these are blue, which is great. They're the Nikki Relax Skinny from Adriana Goldschmied. Adriana Goldschmied and Citizens of Humanity are basically equal to me at this point. Like picking them up based on style, I'm not picking them up based on the brand name. So I pass on this a lot. I pick it up sometimes. It depends on the cost of goods and you know all the other factors. Anyway, this is the Nikki Relax Skinny Jean. It's got a zipper fly. It's got the little patch on the back, Adriana Goldschmied. I'm gonna count these as 30. <laughs> um, they get an extra 10 bucks because they're blue and I don't know, they just look ever so slightly nicer to me. But even though these would have been like $240 jeans, they are not anymore, and that's sad. If they'd been a bit more of like, say, a flare leg or a boot cut, mom jean, like whatever's in right now, that ups the value. And of course, if they're like recent Adriana Goldschmidt, say if they're new with tags, those hold really good value. But basic blue, a little bit dated skinny jeans from them, not what you want to be picking up from this brand unless you're at the bins and then go for it pick up everything but anyway i'm gonna count these as 30 and i think that's a reasonable thing to count on they could sell higher but i'm just counting Ooh. all right one more piece of clothing and we're done with the clothing and then there'll be shoes and accessories okay this is a wilfred leather button-down shirt oh it's fake leather right Wilfred and Aritzia in general all has that vegan leather. Honestly, it's softer than leather, so it's impressive, but um, it just means fake leather. <laughs> it's kind of fleece lined too. This is amazing. I'm going to have to look up what this is worth. This could be selling for like 30 bucks or it could be selling for like 90, depending on many factors. So let's count on this. I, I don't know. I should be able to get more than 30, right though? I'm going to count on it as 40 Canadian dollars or 30. 
to American. It says, Wilfred, size small, Aritzia, I do believe they should be going for closer to around like 40, 50, but you never know until you look it up. And I'm not familiar with this style, so I'll know when I look it up. Oh, good thing we're done with clothes because I am out of space for any of that. I knew about these because you can see them. So like, I'm not even going to pretend to be shocked about this to you guys. She gave us Stuart Weitzman thigh high boots. Like, why? Oh my god, thank you. These are Stuart Weitzman's classic, you know, tie back, suede, black, thigh high boots. I believe these would be the Highland because of how high this heel is, but obviously I'll look it up. They are a size, they're a size six, so they might take a bit longer to sell. Um, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. She's a size six, six and a half, so. But yeah, these are still thousand dollar boots, so. And they're basically in new condition. Like, actually, did she even wear these? Look at the soles. Can you can you see it? Look at that. That's like not even freaking worn at all. And it comes with a dust bag, so I don't know what we can get for these. I'm gonna count them as 200 because I know I can get over 200. I don't know if I can get over three or four. I know I probably can't get over five. So we're gonna count them as 200, and we'll see if we can push that higher because I think we should be able to. Okay, go back in your giant bag. Giant giant bag but yeah it would have been really hard for me not to see these in the bag like oh this giant Stuart Weitzman bag I wonder what that is in the shoe bag yeah awesome glorious okay next pair of shoes we have here are Stuart Weitzman as well and literally new okay these are literally new like I don't think she wore these once look it look can you see can you see how new these are if I go closer it's worse isn't it yep that's pretty much worse but these are basically new um, Stuart Weitzman is hit or miss when you're not dealing with the thigh high boots. So I look up comps when I'm sourcing. I obviously didn't source these, so I'm gonna sell them. Um, no one's asking me anything for them, so yeah, why wouldn't I do that? These are a size 6.5. Um, they got this cute block heel and this like snakeskin print. They're kind of shimmery. They're so cute. They're basically new. I have no idea what these are worth. I think I'm going to count these because of how new they are as at least 50. Um, sometimes Stuart Weitzman can go lower. I'm actually probably going to list these at like 200 bucks. They might very well go for like 150. That's what they should be worth. But yeah, no, resale is always, it's not what things should be worth. It's what they are worth. So we'll find out. But I'm counting these as at least 50 bucks because that's just a no brainer. Oh, shit. <laughs> Really? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. These are tiny, eh? These are Giuseppe Zanotti. Yeah, these are actual Giuseppe Zanotti shoes. I've never picked up this brand. I have no idea how to authenticate it. So I'm actually going to be studying these now that I know I have an authentic pair in my hands. I'm going to be like trying to figure out the difference between these and fake ones. Um, They're a size 36 and a half EU. They've got like this subtle white snakeskin print. They got zipper sides. They're like sneakers. Kind of looks like they got a little bit of a rise. No, not really. Freak if I know what these are worth. I don't know. Um, I've never had a real pair, you know? And there's something that people just assume is fake so much that I don't really know what they go for. You know what? I'm going to have to look up comps to even like guess because I just have no idea. Okay. Here are some sold comps for what people called. Giuseppe Zanotti sneakers in a size. Oh no, wait, I didn't specify size. Any size that look kind of similar to these ones. Um, 170. This is US, by the way. 42. Are they fake though? 400. 200. 40. Um, I'm not clicking into these to see the condition too. So who knows? 300. 100. 220. 48. 300. 233. 24, those have got to be fake, right? Yeah, there definitely are. 200, 145, 62, 126, and it keeps going. I haven't found anyone with the exact pair that I have yet, so maybe I'll scroll for another 30 seconds. They're in very good condition. She did use these for sure. Like, they're not new, new. She's worn them outside, but they're still in very nice condition. Like, ugh, excellent, I would say. No, I would actually call it very good pre-owned condition. I have a whole tier rating system. It goes fair, which basically means like, eh. Uh, although below fair, I've done this like twice. And I don't know why I even listed these things. If it's below fair, why am I listing it? But I have listed things as used condition. Just 
used condition. <laughs> Not a good sign. They're, then fair, then good, then very good, then excellent, then like new, and then obviously new attacks. Um, that's my little spiel on that. I'm so excited about these. I'm a little flabbergasted by them. I'm going to count them as at least a hundred dollars that I can count on because they're six and a half. Actually, they're a thirty-six and a half made in Italy. So an Italian thirty-six and a half might be a six and a half. Gosh, I don't know what to think about these. I've spent way too long on this. Cool. I love that the four pairs of shoes she gave us are going to be worth more or as much as all that freaking clothing, probably, given the Stuart Weitzman's and the low-balling offers I just put on those two pairs of shoes. Let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Uh, what's in the box? Is that a good reference? I've never seen that movie, actually. I think it's a head. Oof. Hello, Celine. Ah, this is what I just... Looked at. I haven't looked at the shoes yet, but these have a box. They're 36 and a half. They're Celine Booty with Studs Robea High Skinny Nappa in black. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Here we have Celine Dust Bag. One for each shoe. Oh my god. And then here we have the shoe. Oh my god. Okay, she definitely wore these, but she kept the box like a very smart individual. Ah! Oh. Okay, amazing. Amazing. Okay, these are the Celine booties. They're not new in box, but they do come with the box. They're 36 and a half. Um, they're just amazing me is what's happening. Okay, and she got them resold. So if you ever see shoes with this on the bottom, it says Topi usually, but sometimes it says something else. It just means that this has been resold. So I think she added this to make these less slippery. They're very like catchy. A lot of people do that. Thankfully, she kept the box because that totally covered up the size, which would have been over here. <laughs> but that's okay because we have the box, so we know what size they are, which is awesome. It's got this cute block heel. I don't know what the heck to count these as. I'm going to count them as 200, but I'm going to want more than that. I'm going to want more than that. <laughs> Celine! Do you see why we... Do you see why there's like that one guest shirt that might sell for 10 bucks and I could not care less? I'm still elated as frick to get all this stuff okay go back in your glorious box you glorious shoes okay that was all the clothes that was all the shoes quickly do the accessories we're gonna do it as quick as we can um the last time she gave us accessories it was a bunch of pandora and it worked out really really nice for us so okay i see tiffany bag i see a little tiffany bag look at the little tiffany bag oh let's see what's in it oh multiple things Oh my god! Okay, this is a Tiffany & Co. pendant. It says, please return to Tiffany & Co. New York 925, so it's sterling silver. It's quite tarnished. I don't... Last time we didn't untarnish things and they still sold for a ton, but I feel like with Tiffany, we're gonna have to untarnish it ourselves so we can get top dollar for her amazing, amazing Tiffany stuff. Oh, amazing. And it's all like individually wrapped in these little things. It's amazing! Oh, go back, you gorgeous gorgeousness. What's this? Okay, we have two Tiffany & Co. bangles. Oh, 925, Tiffany & Co., 1837. Oh, a one. Because you can't get them apart unless you're one of those magician people. Oh, so it's like a little set of bangles. Nice. I have a small wrist, so big bangles and I don't mix really well. But uh, awesome. Amazing. I, I don't know what to expect for these things. I was going to estimate everything, but what am I supposed to expect for Tiffany & Co? I have no idea. I don't know. I've seen comps. They're like 100 per piece or more sometimes. I'm not going to count them as that, though. But let's just see what the frick else is in here. <laughs> you more Tiffany & Co. Oh, my God. Just come out. Come out and be here with me. Oh, a necklace. It has an A, so it's like a first initial embroidered Tiffany & Co. Little necklace. Little silver necklace. Okay. Oh, you guys, I don't know how I'm going to come up with some sort of estimate for you. Like this could all sell for like all this Tiffany stuff that I just showed you could sell for like 150 bucks or it could sell for like 850 bucks. And I would, I don't know. Oh, this is a long necklace. I thought it was two. Okay. We have a long necklace with the, uh, please return to Tiffany and Co. New York. Ah, it's so cool. Oh, dang. What am I supposed to sell that for? Oh, I'm going to be doing some research. We're going to be doing some research. Oh, it's a ring. Oh, a Tiffany & Co. ring. Ah, I'm 
floored. This is ridiculous. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, let's pull off the rest of the jewelry. We're just going to have to go through this relatively quickly because of how much is in here. And I'm going to have to tamper down my reaction. This is a watch. What company are you? Tissot. A Tissot trace watch. Looks dead. But we're... She, yeah, she warned me that the watches need new batteries. So we're just going to go to the bay and get new batteries for them. Or wherever else gets watch batteries. Because I think there will be some that might be worth it in here. Based on some brands she told me were in here that I haven't seen yet. Ooh. This is a bracelet. 925. Whoa, 18 karat gold in this? Oh, crap. This is a sterling silver and 18 karat gold bangle bracelet. I don't see any sort of branding, but I don't think that matters sometimes when you have 18 karat gold, does it? No. Oh my god, I love this. Oh, do these go together? Because there's like a dragon on this, and this is a dragon earring. Oh my god, I love this dragon earring. This is also 925. It's so cool. It's like, can you see this? Dang it. It's a, it's a, like a Chinese dragon earring. Okay, what are you? John Hardy. Don't know the belt. Don't know this fellow. Oh, is this what all this is? Because here we got more dragon. So is all this John Hardy then? Hmm. 18 karat gold. Ha! Oh my god, more dragon earrings. Can, you can't see them, can you? Oh god, can you see it? Can you see it? I'm going to stop doing that. That's just going to get annoying. So that seems to have all been John Hardy. John Hardy. Okay, we got another bangle. It has someone's signature on it. That if we're being really honest, I cannot read. Oh, Beth Dennis? I know a Beth Dennis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something that kind of looks like that. So hopefully Googling around, it'll tell me what I actually mean. Or it's Beth Dennis. Also needs a bit of a clean. This is a Pandora charm bracelet with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten charms! Wow, and they look similar to the ones we had last time. Last time, one of these charms with like the gold around it and the silver and like these are little diamonds maybe. Like it's ridiculous. Freaking Pandora, am I right? I don't. I, I should be able to um, estimate. I think the bracelet alone, if I take off all the charms, which why wouldn't I? is going to go around like 40 bucks and then each charm will vary wildly but maybe let's say 20 bucks a charm with one of them probably being like 50. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 times 20, 200 bucks in charms on this, on this tiny and it's just shoved in here with all this other jewelry. Oh my god you freaking saint. Oh I love it. I love her. You're killing me with happiness. I will die of the happiness here. Oh, this looks like it matches that bracelet. Yeah, this looks like it might be Beth whatever again. It's got a little signature at the bottom, but that actually doesn't look like it says, it looks like it says TJH. So I don't know what that is, but um, it's a very similar style, kind of looks like Native American. And there'll be another earring in here somewhere. And so I'm going to put this with that bracelet. Oh my God, this is blowing my mind. Woo, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Look how cute this is. It's a little blue pearl ring. Let's see, do you have silver? I do five. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, M. Does that mean medium? Any ALE? I'm just looking for an ALE, man. ALE, by the way, is the marker that means Pandora. I don't see it, but this is sick. I love this. Ah, watches. Okay, here we got Movado. A Movado silver watch that we will probably replace the battery in if it needs it. Ooh, hollow. What do you think that is at the top? Do you think it's crystal? Do you think it's Movado Bold? Nice. I don't know much about Movado. We haven't sold one before. But knowing our consignment client, I bet it's not. It's nothing to sneeze at. It's not going to be something you want to sneeze at. <laughs> Here we got a watch. This is Tissot. I hope Tissot. Oh, it's reversible. This is a reversible watch. It has two watch faces. That's nuts. And it's got this nice band. Oh, I'd totally wear this. Hopefully that's good. I don't know. What do you say? Oh, Tiffany & Co. What the fuck? Why'd you jump out of your Tiffany & Co. bag? Okay, this is a Tiffany & Co. Like, bracelet? Charmy bracelet? Frick. Okay. My head is exploding. Ooh, another one of these. But it's got a white pearl. Okay, do you have ALE stamps? I just want to see it. Okay. Silver 925 and an M. Seriously, that can't mean medium. So I don't know what the M is supposed to mean. Oh, this must go with the John Hardy stuff. Oh, there's more John Hardy. Ooh, there's more John Hardy and more dragon stuff. Sick. Love it. Oh, wow, there's a lot in here. Okay. Wow. 
let's just we're gonna we're gonna run through this um oh a gorgeous ring <gasps> look at that can you see it dang it i suck at this oh my gosh that's nuts um earrings so cute oh god those are cute little like half hoop things a bracelet i love it wow and a necklace yeah a necklace tis a necklace with a bunch of chains oh man i don't you're not gonna be able to see this but the little clasp has like leaf detailing or like it's a tree kind of so cool so freaking cool oh i love it i love it i love it i love it i am in over my head aren't i for jewelry why is there more in this little bag oh my god huh okay these are earrings yes they're dangly earrings so they have these like three pieces i don't know you know, dangle earrings. So there's another one here. And they're in the same bag as all the other John Hardy stuff. We're going to assume that that's who made it. Here's another bag of John Hardy stuff. <laughs> Guys, I got to go through this quicker. Oh, good. It's a bunch of brain bangles. Oh, nice. Okay. Two matching bangles that look like they might have some gold on them. So that's cool. Yep. 18 karat gold. I like John Hardy, I've decided. And then this like statement bangle bracelet oh all the john hardy stuff's in really good condition too like we won't have to really treat it for silver tarnishing this is a mavado watch possibly some gold on it based on how it looks amazing i wonder if like i'm getting all excited about all the wrong things and i just don't know what i'm supposed to be most excited about oh this is a necklace oh um i don't see anywhere that this could possibly be branded let's check the clasp oh well, that's tiny. Oh my god, you guys, it's so tiny. I don't, I, I'm gonna need like a magnifying glass to say where that one's from. Oh, uh, that's a Gucci. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Does that say Gucci on this freaking watch? It does. It says Gucci. I can read it. It says Gucci. Oh my god. Are you ticking? No. You need a battery. Um, I don't know what to do with this. How much is this worth? I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh man, we do not sell a lot of jewelry, <laughs> but we're about to. Ah, oh, another Tiffany and Co. Bra another Tiffany and Co. bracelet. It's got this little charm on it. It's like no big deal. Um, whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I recognize this. I think we've gotten this style of necklace from her before. Yes. Okay, this is like Pira. Yeah. So P Y R R H A. We've sold one of these necklaces for her before. It sold for seventy bucks within like a week so i'm gonna list this one higher see how this goes it's got these cute two little doves on it they're supposed to be like ethical i think and one of a kind or something no not one of a kind but they're supposed to be ethical and i don't know they they each have like meaning ah never mind i don't know what i'm saying oh is this another pira oh yeah it is oh another one it's got three female shaped people that are like have their arms around each other like a sisterhood necklace i love this i love it oh my god that's amazing what's this a little it's a little pandora oh damn it yes <laughs> it's a little pandora little charmy bracelet amazing 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 i'm gonna start freaking out okay we're almost done the jewelry you guys i'm so sorry this this is way longer of a haul than i thought it would be because of all this jewelry i knew it was gonna be a lot of clothes and some shoes but i didn't know it was gonna have all this in it Okay, we have a cute bracelet. Do we want to look for a... Yeah, of course we want to. Q-O. Co? Three, an Olympic symbol? What? All right, straight up, I don't know what this is from yet. I'll have to look it up. And then this one here, we have Lynx London. Yes, we've also sold a Lynx London bracelet for before. That went well, too. I forget to the tune of what, but it went really quickly. Was it like 30 bucks? Was it 40 bucks? Was it 50 bucks? I have no idea. But it comes with its little pouch. So we have the little Lynx London pouch and the Lynx London bracelet. Awesome. Amazing. And then the last jewelry, and I don't know what to think of this at all, is a set of like netted gold. So I think this is a choker, maybe, or an anklet, since that would not go around my neck. Um, and then a bracelet, right? Yeah, that would go around my wrist. And then there's like a matching ring. Oh, I'm still wearing that John something ring. Yikes. <laughs> okay. This little net set, so we'll sell it as a set, obviously. I have no idea where it's from. And it doesn't, like, have a ton of surfaces. And you know what? This video's been long enough. I'll let you know if I figure it out. Not if, when. I'll let you know when I figure it out.
Um, that wasn't the end of the accessories bag, but hopefully these are just watches. A watch. Rado, Switzerland. Looks cool to me. I've heard of Switzerland. Just kidding. I'm oh, sorry. I can't stop making stupid jokes. Oh, it comes with a little... Oh, I've been looking for one of these. It comes with a Rado, like, card holder. That's cool. It comes with... It comes with a book. You guys, it comes with a book. Oh, my God. I think this watch takes itself quite seriously. This is the package that presumably holds the watch. And here's the watch with some extra links. The Rado watch. Square. So cool. I have no idea what that's worth. I don't... Uh, the whole, like, I'm going to estimate what all this is worth flew out the window. Like, how am I supposed to know? I don't know. The most expensive watch I've ever sold was from this same consignment client, and it sold for $600. I don't imagine any of these are going to go for that. I don't know. Maybe that Gucci one. But it did seem pretty small, didn't it? Okay. Here we got a Movado box. Movado. I have never heard of that, actually. But now I will have. Comes with some authentication and warranty cards. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is the nicest Movado watch. It has crystals around it, so I don't know if, like, what material that's going to turn out to be. But that's gorgeous. And it's got extra links. It's a little minimalist. Silver. Oh, gorgeous. Okay. Thank you. I'm a little floored right now. I just don't even really know how to react anymore. Okay. Got another Rado, Switzerland. Okay, I'm running out of places to put all this jewelry. Similar kind of. Yeah. Ooh, this is sick. I think this is a men's watch. Maybe not though. It looks like this. And I don't know what to tell you about it other than I bet it cost a pretty penny. <laughs> okay, fill in your box. What orientation were you in the box? Oh, like that. You stay safe. Okay, <laughs> we're almost done. I swear. There's like two more things and then we're done. Oh, John Hardy. Are these new tags? Okay, I don't want to open this. Maybe these are authenticity cards that go with the other stuff. Oh, like little books or stuff that tell you about John Hardy. They might be. I don't know. Don't know. Oh, but this one is open. Okay, screw it. We'll open it. Oh, it has been opened. Oh, it's a cleaning cloth. Retailer stamp and signature, date of purchase. Well, they didn't fill that out, but it is a little warranty sheet. And then it's got a little like polishing cloth. So that's cool. That must be what both of them are. I'm not going to open the other one. And <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do with this. So I, don't, I don't. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> but in the best way. Okay. Ah! It says it on the inside too. <laughs> what is this? I suppose if a watch was going to sell for 600 bucks, it could be this one. It's a Gucci watch. Um, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It has some little pillow in here. It's got all the, like, paperwork down below. <gasps> oh, my God. I don't, I don't know what that's worth. Is it worth, like, eight bajillion dollars or is it worth 20? Just kidding. It's not worth 20. If you offer me 20, I'll block you. Oh, it's got, like, a pearlescent. Oh, you can't see it. Dang it. Okay, well, you can see it in my closet when I get it listed, which let's do that soon so we can start making a ton of money, eh? Oh my god, that was amazing. That was amazing. That was amazing. I am speechless. I knew the Stuart Weitzman boots were in there, but I didn't know about all this jewelry. I was hoping for some Pandora, and I got so much more than I was hoping for. Okay, this has been a really long haul, so I'm going to cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have been considering during consignment, and you just watched all this, and what we can maybe turn all this into... I can't, I can't estimate for the jewelry. So it's going to be like before jewelry estimation because holy crap. Um, that was amazing. Thank you guys for being here. We will see you in the next video and yeah, happy, happy selling. Go make sales. Sell all this crap for me, will you? No, I have to do it. Okay.